Well, I try to beat every game I get, but I don't usually end up beating them all. I think the ones I don't beat is either because I get bored of the game, or the game is utter shite and I don't want to complete it. So, but I do try to complete most of my games, but of course I haven't completed them all. Well, I do have Tekken Dark Resurrection and Fired Up, which are two games where you can go online and download shit, basically. Um, but apart from that, I don't have any online games which are actually going online and battling someone in an online match or anything like that. These are the only ones that are actually online capable that I have. But, no, so I don't have really any playable online games. Oh, I can't stand that show. To me, it is not really funny at all. They try and cram too many jokes in at the same time and really don't think about the quality of the joke. So basically, it's just not funny. Whereas South Park actually doesn't try to cram too many jokes in and actually cares about the quality of the jokes. Like in the recent one where there was a big thing about HIV positive jokes that was very funny. Those of you who watched it will know what I mean. So yeah, um, to me, Family Guy is just trying to cram too many awful jokes in at once just to get a cheap laugh, and to me, it is not working. They sometimes do it with recent episodes of The Simpsons as well. So yeah, it's just... Yeah. No, I haven't actually. I'm not really sure where or if I can watch it in Scotland, but um, I'll try searching for some episodes on YouTube or something, just to check how funny it is. I wish I could say I give a shit about what's going on, but I really couldn't. If Jason Griffith is voicing Sonic, fair enough. If Ryan Drummond is voicing Sonic, fair enough. If some other fucker is voicing Sonic, Fair enough, I don't really care. What I'm concerned about is the gameplay in the Sonic games. And right now the gameplay is severely lacking. We haven't had a fantastic Sonic game in a long time, so I think they need to be focusing more on the gameplay rather than who the fuck is voicing Sonic. Well, I am a very angry gamer and I have accidentally broken two PS2 controllers and a Wii Remote once, well it wasn't actually broken, the B button got stuck in, but we managed to pull it back out again, so that's safe now. But I think the most severe breakage would have to be my poor old DS right here, where I really accidentally, I wasn't meaning to, I accidentally managed to snap the top screen right off. And now it is hanging off like a thread, but Needless to say, for some really, really strange reason, it still works. Look. It is still fucking working. You wouldn't expect it to. I mean, look, it's hanging right off here. We've, we sellotaped it back together again and it still works. Completely strange, but shut the fuck up. Right, so after that I got a DS Lite. And it was much better than the DS, so I'm rather proud about that. But I'm not proud about breaking this, and I've learned a valuable lesson after doing that. To fucking stop playing after I get so angry that I end up... Well... Yes, well, I end up doing this. I'm sure it can be repaired, though. No. While knowing how Final Fantasy works, they usually don't reuse the same characters more than once, so I doubt we'll see any of the characters again. But if they were to reuse them, I would say I would like to see Cloud, Tidus and Squall again, because those were my three favourite Final Fantasy characters. And now for the five Kingdom Hearts Final Fantasy characters I would like to see. Well, let's just say Kingdom Hearts pretty much has all the good Final Fantasy characters in it already. However, there are some reasonably good ones that they could still add in, and the five reasonably good ones that I would most like to see are Vincent Valentine from Final Fantasy VII, Lunith from Final Fantasy III,
Kamari from Final Fantasy X, Zidane from Final Fantasy IX, and Barrett from Final Fantasy VII. Not at all. I think that Super Mario completely deserves all the high scores he's been getting because he always provides us with something new into the market. I mean, take a look at Super Mario Galaxy. Where have you seen someone running up walls on the ceiling and defying the laws of gravity in one single game? That game just provided us with so much new gameplay, it was unbelievable, and it definitely deserved a very high rank. I mean, at this day and age of the gaming industry, we're kind of seeing the same use of gameplay over and over and over again. So I think we really, really needed to see something like Super Mario Galaxy, which just showed us something that had never been done before. So no, he definitely doesn't seem to be very overrated. And the same applies to The Legend of Zelda and Final Fantasy, in my opinion. Not overrated at all. Halo, on the other hand, I would say is extremely overrated. Just my opinion, but my opinion is Halo, fucking overrated. Mario, not fucking overrated. Yes, I have seen quite a few of his movies now. Um, Edward Scissorhands was a good one, and so was The Nightmare Before Christmas. But my overall favourite Tim Burton movie would have to be Corpse Bride. I absolutely loved this film. It was a right classic. So if anyone hasn't seen this one yet, I would recommend seeing it because I'm sure you'll enjoy it. Ha ha ha, nice try, very funny. Um, but I'll tell you anyway, this screenshot is Super Mario 64. So keep that in mind for later. Only joking, it's not really. Well, I go to the movie theatre quite a lot, and my favourite genre of films would either be action films, superhero films, or comedy films. Probably mostly the action and superhero films, like Spider-Man, Transformers, Fantastic Four, uh, Harry Potter, all that kind of stuff, the big epic Hollywood blockbuster kind of things. Yeah! So, what's the time? Oh, I'll tell you what time it is. It's time for... Guess That Game. And this week's Guess That Game is... So, if you think you know the answer to that Guess That Game challenge, then please send me a private message saying the name of the game. Now remember, if you leave a video comment instead of a private message, then Chad Warden is going to come along and shove his PS3 so far up your ass that you won't be able to shit in a week. So make sure that you don't send any video comments and send me private messages instead. Last week's guest of that game was Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. Now it doesn't matter what platform it was on, as long as you guessed Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets, that's fine. Now, pretty much everyone knew it was a Harry Potter game, but not everyone guessed the fucking Chamber of Secrets, which was the only right answer. So if you didn't guess the Chamber of Secrets, I don't care. You got it wrong. I know I'm such a bitch, aren't I? So anyway, here are all the people that managed to guess the Chamber of Secrets. However, the first person to guess that right and the overall winner was Cold Summer 91. Yeah! I'm trying to get Cartman to clap his hands, but he won't fucking do it. And now for the good old random poll, and this week's random poll is what is your favourite supernatural creature on the following list? Now my one would have to be vampires. Now the only reason I have for that is because um, in the Castlevania games it kind of revolves around killing Dracula who is a vampire. So I like to kill Dracula and therefore my favourite supernatural creature is vampires. I know that makes no sense does it? <laughs> and last week we asked which Final Fantasy game is your favourite? 
And this one is another one of those incredibly long ones where you have to sit and watch me go through the whole list. Oh well, here we go. 20 people said that they don't like Final Fantasy at all. Dun dun dun! That was a fucking shocker actually, how dare they. And 12 people said that they like Final Fantasy 7, 11 people said Final Fantasy 10, 8 people said Final Fantasy 6, 4 people said Final Fantasy, 4 people said Final Fantasy 8, 4 people said Other, 2 people said Final Fantasy 3, 2 people said Final Fantasy 4, 2 people said Final Fantasy 9, 2 people said Final Fantasy 11, 2 people said Crystal Chronicles, 1 person said Final Fantasy 5, 1 person said Final Fantasy 12, 1 person said Dirge of Cerberus, and no people said Final Fantasy 2 or Final Fantasy 10 2.